Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading. It's for the 8th through the 14th. I know I'm a day late, but I've, I've been overworked, so I do apologize, but here we are. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For, you know, basically the 8th to the 14th. But, you know, the timing is fluid. What do we got for cancer? What's going on for cancer? You know, I think there's some obstacles that are finally being removed. I see stability and security, feeling right at home. You know, I see this. This is, you know, you may be feeling really, really secure at this time. Maybe you're letting go of, you know, a situation that has been troubling in your life. I see balance and harmony coming back after definitely some sort of struggle. Um, I'm not sure if this is happening right now, this struggle. I mean, the Five of Swords, this is a battle of some sort. This is power struggles. And this is in, like, a future position. So I'm wondering if you are yet to experience a few more struggles. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Okay? This is in the future. This is the future position. So this is getting what you deserve. So <laughs> Let's get some more cards. This is walking away from something. <laughs> and this is uh, stability and security. So I'm wondering if maybe somebody's, if you're walking away from somebody or somebody's walking away from you. I mean, that could certainly be the case. Time of introspection, time of, you know, going within. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to take a break from somebody to give, bring balance back to your life. I mean, there's an obstacle here that is causing you some turmoil. And maybe you need to go within and take a minute, take a break, you know, to regain your stability. That could certainly be the case. You could be dealing with a lose, lose situation where there's a constant battle with somebody. They could be constantly fighting, constantly arguing with another person. And you maybe you just are like, you know, I need to take a break. I gotta regain my balance. I gotta regain my structure here. You may be deciding, yeah, I need to put a halt to this. I need to put a stop to this. You may be wanting to block something or stop communicating with somebody because they wanna fight with you. I don't know. That's what it looks like, yeah. I think that you don't wanna argue anymore. It's like I don't wanna fight anymore. I think that you're making a decision to block. I mean, this is blocking. It, both of these cards are are blocking something. I need to go within. I need to. I need to contemplate. I need to take a rest. I need to take a break. So you may be deciding to take a break. <laughs> putting the brakes on. You are putting the brakes on a situation, Cancer. Absolutely, I'm putting the brakes on this. I'm not moving forward. No moving forward. This is the battle. It's. I can't battle with you anymore. So yeah, it does look like you're putting the brakes on. Could be with a Taurus. Um, maybe you are deciding you don't want to be in this commitment or you just want to take a break from this commitment. You, you don't have faith and trust in it. Maybe you don't believe in it anymore. Maybe this person doesn't have faith and trust in you. You know, there's, there's a need to step back by the looks of things and somebody may be deciding, you know, what I want to, whether it's you or the other person. I mean, it, it really looks like there's this, there's a commitment that is on the rocks here. Um... And I think that you're trying to, you want to bring balance and harmony back to your life. I think this has been a heavy decision. I think that you know that you have to do the right thing for you. And you probably are sick of fighting. You're sick of arguing. You're sick of going back and forth with whoever this person is. I think you're dealing with somebody who um, is causing a lot of conflict in your life. And I think in the past, yeah, there was stability and there was security. Maybe there's been a, a change in home or something like that. The Ten of Pentacles can reference, can have something to do with your home. But I think that in the past, things were stable. And now somebody, maybe they're moving or they have moved and it's caused a big uproar. Or there's been some sort of uproar at home. I don't know. 
uh, you know, I just feel like there, somebody is, is deciding, you know, I don't, I don't want to argue, I don't want to fight, I don't need this conflict in my life. This, but I see a lot of conflict, and you, Les, just I was like putting the brakes on. You say, you know what, I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. I'm going to restore balance and harmony in my life. I've got to do the right thing for me, and if that means taking a break from this, then that's what i got to do. So I, that's what I feel like. You could be dealing with another Cancer. You could be dealing with a Taurus. We have Libra here. Um, there could be, you know, somebody. Somebody may. If you're married, you could. There could be somebody that's filing for divorce. Um, just saying. I mean, it's like there's a commitment that may be. There could be a breakup. Put it that way. There could be a, a goodbye. I can't do this anymore. Or let's just take a break for a while and not communicate. Um, yeah, you may start to realize, or somebody may be realizing, you know, there's got to be something better than this. There's, there, I can't keep worrying about this. I can't keep dealing with this. Um, there's no happiness here. There's no growth here. You could be dealing with somebody who is very negative and, um, doesn't really make you happy anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Or you're not making them happy. I don't know. Somebody's not happy with the sun card reversed. And, and somebody's probably walking away because there's no growth, there's no happiness, you know, and who wants to live like that? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I think somebody could be getting cut out. Somebody could be cutting out, being cut out. They may not, you know, this, it may not be pretty. It may not be what you want to do, but you got to protect yourself. You got to set boundaries. I feel as though, um... Somebody may be stepping on your toes and you want to take back control. It's like, I want to take back control of my life. I'm not going to be controlled by you. It's almost like somebody's trying to control you. And you don't want that. You're like, no, uh-uh, not going to happen. Uh, you may be dealing with somebody who's immature and childish. And, you know, maybe, maybe you feel like, I mean, they're very... It's like a constant battle. That's what I keep feeling. It's like you're constantly fighting with somebody. It's like I'm taking back my power. I'm breaking free. Some of you are breaking free from something that is unhealthy. It looks like it's an unhealthy relationship. You could be dealing with somebody that is causing you to shut down emotionally. This is probably your, your energy. You know, it's causing you to withdraw. It's like, you know what? I, I don't have any feelings left for this situation. <laughs> So I feel like you, you know, they're bringing you down. I feel like you're dealing with a person that is bringing you down. They may be toxic and you're ready to call it, call it out, to call it an end. You know, I think that you're done. You're ready to break, definitely liberate yourself from this situation. I think, I think that you are ready to end it. You're ready to say, you know, I can't, I'm not, I want happiness. I want balance. I want harmony. I want peace. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to be controlled. You know, uh, this is a dead end. So I feel like you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel as though there's no uh, life. It's like you feel like I can't. There's not. There's no growth here. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to um, take back control of my life and dominate my situation. I, I got to have structure. I got to have organization. I got to take care of my business. I got to take care of... Everybody, and I can't deal with your pettiness. I can't deal with your drama. I can't deal with your controlling issues. So I feel like you're about to take back control of a situation because that's what you've got to do. So Cancer, I feel as though, uh, you know, I feel like I see somebody walking away from a dysfunctional situation that... has made them unhappy probably for quite some time. You know, I feel like it's, it's somebody is you know what, I have made my decision. I'm sticking to it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. We are done. I'm putting the brakes on. You know, I got, I got an empire to work on. I'm, I'm building myself up and you're holding me back. So I don't know who that is for, but that's what I see. Um, Somebody's walking away. Somebody is. I, that's what I see. I see somebody's deciding that this is too much of a struggle. 
I got other things to take care of and I can't be playing dealing with all this uh, conflict self-sabotage interesting very very interesting <laughs> excuse me become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions you you are about to sabotage a big opportunity now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful, enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur arch archetype, you begin to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve, and become fulfilled. Somebody could be walking away from you. You know, or you're choosing to walk away because you see a bigger, better opportunity. You know, so you could be self-sabotaging yourself by holding on to something that is toxic. Anyway. <sighs> the saboteur is terrified of change and guards their heart from that which is meaningful. With the misguided belief that if you don't try, you, you can't fail. It forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy with which would fulfill you. On the lighter side, the saboteur can help you connect to your intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom. It can assist you in deciphering a potentially dangerous situation. <laughs> you know, I really feel as though you guys are in the process of taking back your control from a situation that you has held you back and I think that you may have allowed it for who knows what 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 reason only you do you're putting the brakes on and taking back control because it's like I want something more you may have lost a bigger better opportunity according to this card because of your own self-sabotage I don't know. But I do feel as though this is a, a week of taking back your power, you know, restoring control, bringing balance back to your life by putting the brakes on a situation that has made you unhappy, you know? So that's what I see. I see you guys probably facing your own demons. It's like, you know what? I'd rather, I got to do what I got to do for me. And if it means, you know, blocking this from my life whatever it is that you're blocking because i see you blocking something and that's what i gotta do so that's what i got i see you guys heading in a new direction you know taking back your control you know really taking the lead to uh you know i want success i want happiness i want growth i i, I want it all and this ain't it so that's what i got cancer good luck <laughs>